It's round three of Q12. We've been to Yorkshire, we've been to Lancashire, and we've come 300 miles to Torquay. Oh, it's a beautiful day. The sun's shining, the sea's blue, and we don't have that many competitors here today, but you can't say we haven't tried. We have one competitor, Rob Hanna, who's turned up and paid his money. And so Rob, lucky boy, has won a place in the final and a chance to play for all the money and the cash for winning today's quiz as well. In horse racing terms, it is what's called a walkover. And when only one entrant enters a competition, the horse in horse racing it walks over the line. In the case of Q12, he must answer one question correctly to get the money. So I've uh, put together a bunch of extraordinarily difficult questions to see if he gets it right. If he answers one question correctly, that puts him in the lead, which means that he gets through to the final. So round one of Q12 is meant to be 12 minutes, and it's the first eight people to go through, but that doesn't really matter. All that matters is that within 12 minutes, Rob gets a question right. Okay, first question. What, to the nearest second, is the gestation period of the Patagonian seed snipe? I'm only kidding, we're not going to ask him that. <laughs> First question, Q12, round three, part one. Who wrote not romances under the name Mary Westmacott, but is chiefly remembered for her 66 detective novels, particularly featuring detectives Hercule Poirot or Miss Marple? Which Number six, Rob Hannon. Agatha Christie. <laughs> Agatha Christie's the correct answer, so if all the gathered staff have, you were only thinking, where is everybody? So we'll be giving Rob the prize in uh, just a moment. And Rob, that's a win to you. Don't forget, if anybody does want to enter Q12, the next opportunity to enter will be in East Anglia in two weeks' time. And I assure you, it's well worth entering. Rob's had a great time today answering one question and making lots of money. And you could do it too. We do want more people to enter this. If you don't enter, don't ever complain that there isn't a decent TV quiz show. Okay, uh, we'll be over to Rob in just a minute to give him the prize. Well, Rob, you've no idea how much this kills me. Uh, we're not going to do an in-depth interview with you now and ask you what your strategy was, but we will give you the cheque for £100, which will take you to Oxford on December the 16th to compete against the likes of Pat Gibson and Darren Martin, Pat Gibson being one of the very best quizzers in Britain. We didn't get the chance to see quite how good Rob was during that uh, extensive quiz, but I assure you, and the practice beforehand, he was electric with the buzzers, and I do look forward to seeing him in Oxford. Uh, the current state of affairs, I would place no player at better than two to one because of the nature of this particular game, and what it means, Rob, that when you go into that, you'll probably be somewhere in the region of between 10 and 15 to one along with everybody else in the competition. Uh, we will do an in-depth interview with you when we get to Oxford. But meanwhile, congratulations and well done. And I'm sure everybody enjoyed watching him. <laughs> <laughs>